Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In this episode, I'm going to be continuing with the epic quest. I have to go to the highest level of the city and hopefully recollect Tan Morgul from a fierce, fierce opponent. And let me see exactly where that's going to be. I guess all the way down here. So let's go. Let's get up there. And thankfully, I'm overleveled, so I don't have to stop and fight everyone along the way. Just make my way up there. That's always nice. I love a Numinous. They did such a great job designing it, I think. So if this guy's here, I'm pretty sure I've probably already killed him in the past, but... Is it that guy? Yeah, it is. Golduk here. Alright, he's got a pile of corpses around him. Kind of terrifying. Not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and do one of those, and we'll go ahead and destroy him. Alright. Wow, he stunned the hell out of me. Fools, did the ranger send you? You are no more than another band of pawns sent to their doom at my hands. Alright. So I collected... ...thing. And then I have to go all the way back to the Tinnadir Keep. Now, I think Clarendon may be onto something. The prisoner may be sending me on futile ta tasks just to waste my time and give Amarthiel more time to accomplish her goals of securing and making sure she escapes with the Palantir. But we'll see if that theory pans out. Yes, my friend, yes. Unite my bonds and give me the relic that you have taken from Goldrakir, Tan Morgul, heirloom of fallen Numenor. Hey, what are you doing? Bring that over here. Did I really just give it to him? I hope not. What do you need? What do you think you were doing, Gibbon? I do not know what happened to me, but something seemed to shake me from a deep slumber, and I saw you about to untie the prisoner. You need to steel yourself against the wiles. Did not Lairdun tell you that? He's a treacherous... He's treacherous, our prisoner, and we cannot let down our guard for an instant. I will take Tan Morgul and bring it to Kalinglad. I do not think it is wise for you to spend so much time in the company of Mortimer, Kippen. Calling you friend all time, all the time, I do not trust him, and neither should you. Stay a moment. Lairdun came to see me, as you said he would, and he told me much the same, that our prisoner remains dangerous. I did not pay as much attention to these words as I should have, it seems. But I have something to tell you that this unfortunate business with Tan Morgul drove from my mind until now. Lairdon has learned the location of Amarthios Palantir and has devised a scheme by which it might be recovered. He is waiting for you in his room. I do not want to say any more about it while you are in the presence of the prisoner, but you should talk to Lairdon about this at once. Go. It's a fairly long book, more so than the previous ones, I think. Already in chapter 12 here. What can I do for you? Kip and welcome. You look better than when I last saw you. Did you manage to take some rest at last? The time for open fighting is over. Kalinglad is wise and strong, but he has been blighted by his pride. 
he will not retake a Numinous before Marthiel locates Narkwheel. Mordrambor is a creature of lies, but in taunting me, I believe he has made a mistake. He said a Marthiel waited for me in Baratiron. Do you remember? Baratiron was where the kings of Anuminus sat in judgment and heard the concerns of their people. The histories do not agree on this point, but a number of them record that the Palantir of Anuminus was kept in Baratiron for the use of the kings. That Palantir of Anuminus is gone, drawn beneath the sea, but surely that is where Amarthiel strives with the Palantir she has recovered. We must assault Baratiron and reclaim the Palantir keeping, but hold. Do not rush to Kalanglad just yet. This Palantir has been bound to the evil of the enemy and Miris and the mere touch on it will cause us harm. We need some means to carry it. Goladir has such a means in Gath Fortnir, though it may cause him grief to remember the events of his fall. You must speak with Goladir on this matter. Only he can provide us with what we need. Alright. So... Let me see what sort of travel skills can get me there the quickest. That's even dim. I could probably do Estelden, and then there's a swift pony from there to Gath Fortnir. Certainly a lot of tra traveling here in Book 10. Right, What's quick pony there. Alright, let me see if I can find Goladir. I always forget what side his chamber is on. So probably not that one. Maybe this one up here. Looks like it. What can I do for you? Kippen, I had not expected to see you again so soon. Why have you come to me? Stay a moment. You say you have come from Laredon and that he believes I may play a part in reclaiming the Palantir that was taken from Karn Doom? The seen stone is wholly evil. I see that now, and I wish I had never been made to gaze into it. Mordorith has paid for his torment of me, but even that will never be enough to satisfy his debt. No act of vengeance will bring back my poor lo lost Lornio. Lairdon speaks the truth. Even as Mordorith brought me forth from the gates of Karn Doom, the hateful images of the Palantir still burned into my mind. I clutched it in my hand the black cloth with which the seeing stone was covered when not in use. The terrible events of that day had all but pushed it from my memory, but I remember it now. Hold the planter only with this finely woven cloth bag, else the stone will seek to show you such things that might bring you to despair. Do not touch the planter without this bag. I do not wish for you to endure what I was made to endure. Give Lairdin my good wishes but warn him not to underestimate our enemy. He is a good elf and true, but in him alone have I recognized the terrible burden I have borne in the day since Lorneo was lost to me. Something gnaws at his heart, and I fear it will bring him harm if he does not guard against me. Right, back to Evendim. I'm so glad I'm a warden and I have these travel skills. Feel bad for you guys who do not have such convenience.
See if we can finally reclaim the planter. That would be exciting. Gotta make sure to go the right way this time. Taking a right here to Laredan's quarters. There's a note pinned to Laredan's door. Interesting. My friends, too long have I fled from my obligations, but no more. I go now to Baratiron, where I alone will confront Amarthiel. It is not right that I should send you to wrest the Palantir from her clutches, when I am to blame for much of her evil. I will no longer shirk my responsibility. If I succeed, there will be no cause for fear. If I fail, I will have fallen doing what I should have done long ago. The debt must be paid, and if I perish in its payment, even that would be just. Would that I could see you in person and tell you why I must do this, but I cannot. Out of kindness and friendship, you would seek to dissuade me, and I fear I am not strong enough to maintain my course when confronted with such persuasions. Do not follow me, my friends. This is something I must do alone. Larry. That is a bit of a problem, because if he touches that Palantir, he may be compromised to some great evil. So let's go talk to Taydon and hopefully come up with a plan to rescue Lairdon from a terrible fate. At least that's what it sounds like from Goladir's experience. What do you need? What is this? A note from Lairdon? This is my fault, Kippen. How could I have been such a fool? Lairdon offered to watch the prisoner for a time and I agreed. I have not felt well for some time and I thought some fresh air would do me well. I said as much to you if you recall. The prisoner must have said something to Lairdon during that time, woven some foul tangle of words. What sad irony for Lairdon to succumb to this treachery when he oft spoke to us of its danger. It has been done according to the will of a Amarth. Thou art too late. All has been according to the wishes of Hangmar's regent. My jailer is a fool, Kippen, but even he is not the fool thou art, given to the pride of an irresistible desire to do good. And yet, what is good? Thou hast done only what the regent of Angmar and I, her greatest servant, desired of thee. It was no accident that brought me to the tomb of long-dead Elendil with so few servants. Thou didst not think a Marthiel would needlessly risk the life of one so valuable, surely. While I have thee running errands around the city and on pilgrimages to the far shores of vast Nenuil, she has been gazing into the palantir she retrieved from Karn Doom, willing it to show her that which she seeks. I am greater now than Goldukir, for it was at her suggestion that I told you he bore Ten Morgul. He thought to use it to challenge her for leadership of Angmar. Thou were a useful pawn in his removal, a Marthiel shall thank you shall thank thee for it. But now I have completed my greatest task, the task which she sent me to thee, Kippen, the delivery of Laredan to her at Baratiron. She has much in store for the elf, much for which she has waited uh, long. Didst thou think that Laredan was innocent? Thou art twice the fool then, or thrice so. Run, thy mast run to thy master, Kippen, and tell Kalanglad of thy folly. Laredan will not return for Baratiron, or if he does, it will be in a form none shall recognize. Holy twisted and evil, I, I have but one task remaining to me, and I will relish in its execution. So we have been played for fools. Time to talk to Kalanglad. Certainly need a better plan now. What do you need? Every decision I have made has gone ill, Kippen. My thoughts of victory turn to ash, even as it seems so near. For Lairdan to pay this price for the mistaken pride of the Dunedain fills me with sorrow. May a thousand curses fall upon the heads of Mordrembor and his fell mistress. Nay, I will not give in to despair, though things seem darkest. Our prisoner 
is a creature of lies and deceit, and despite his cruel whisperings, we have won great victories in Anuminus. Can this be a ruse, risen from the desperation of a captive whose plans have not borne the expected fruit? Can it be that Amarthiel's search has gone less well than she had hoped, and that Mordrum Bor now seeks to fill us with despair where none should be? We may be able to save Laredin and recover the Palantir as he intended, Kippen. Though he has left us, perhaps the Dunedain can repay Laredin for his friendship. One last assault on the steps of Baratiron may get you and your friends within its walls, Kippen, and we shall see if there is any truth to Mordrumbor's words. We shall see if the time has come yet for despair, or if our greatest victory is at hand. How can I be of service? <clears throat> Too long have I delayed hoping to reclaim the city from the forces of Angmar, but I see now that victory in Anuminus will not be complete if Amarthiel learns the location of Narkwil. We will have traded victory here for defeat elsewhere. This was the lesson of Laredin, but I did not see it. Speak to me when your allies are ready, and we will launch a final assault upon Baratiron. If we are successful, you will have access to the inner chambers, where one of you must pick up the Palantir and carry it back to the entrance, where I will be waiting. If you have finely woven cloth bag given to you by Goladir, the Palantir should not harm you. Protect the bearer of the Palantir from attacks of the enemy. Much depends upon this, Kippen, for we will not have another chance. If you see Lairdin within the depths of Baratiron, do what you can, but do not endanger yourself needlessly. The retrieval of the Seen Stone must come first. It is what he would have wanted. The Eye of Angmar blinded once more. Alright, so this is a group quest, but I get an inspiration. But it seems like one person in the group should carry the Palantir while the others protect him. I wonder how that will work in a solo mission like this. Are you prepared, Kippen? I will give the word when you and your allies are ready, and we will storm Baratiron with as much force as we can muster. Retrieving the Palantir will be up to you. My man can only pave the way for you. If you can do anything to help Laredin inside Baratiron, I would ask that you do, but I fear he is lost to us. Time for an instance. Laerdan, succumbing to the whisperings of Mordrombor, foolishly seeks to confront Amarthiel at Baratiron, where she seeks to use the Palantir to find Narquil. The only hope for the Free Peoples is for the Palantir to be recovered from her grasp. Alright. Looks like they're just kind of chilling out there. So I'm going to start clearing some of the enemies here. Go ahead and just get everybody in here. Nice. Now, if I'm not mistaken, originally these enemies were supposed to be level 50, but after they revamped even them, they automatically went down to level 40. That's why this is a little bit easier than it should be. Even with the, uh, even without the buff, it should have been pretty easy. But look, I'm pretty beefy. Pretty beefy. Thanks to the buff. Doing a lot more damage. That's always nice. You know, I probably don't have to clear everything, but I like to. It's fun. Why not? Plus, it counts towards my deed. I can't remember if I've already finished the Angmarim Slayer deed. I probably did, because I've killed so many of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. But whatever. This is probably a good place to work on that deed a little bit. Right. My priest is summoning something. Not fast enough, though, my friend. If I can blast a couple of these guys. These are ranged units. I'm going to have to come in there. There's no way around it. Let me go ahead and kill everybody because if I have to carry the Palantir, I don't want anybody 
hitting me on the way out. So that's why I'm trying to clear everything. Lots of enemies. Clearing both sides here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And got some beefy trolls up here guarding the way. Alright. Lost dirt. Alright. Looks like a beefcake. Let me wait for this here. Actually, I can... Never mind. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Go ahead and blast him. Do a Spear of Virtue. And one of those. And a Surety of Death. Do an Unerring Strike. Those are always fun. But he is getting some help from his friends. He needs rest. What is this lady doing? Let me wait for these to come in. That way I can do a nice AoE. Blast them together. Nothing here on the sides. Almost to the top here, it looks like. There's Lairdon. Kippen, what are you doing here? Alright. Just in time to save Lairdon. The shadow is on my spirit. Kippen, why have you come here? This is not your fight. I need to confront Amarthiel on my own, as I should have done long ago. The time has passed, my friend. If I can hold Amarthiel's attention long enough, you will be able to seize the Palantir. We will challenge her together, and perhaps she will not realize her peril. When I give you the word, you must seize the Palantir and immediately run to the entrance of Baratiron. Do not delay. Bring it to Kalinglad. And perhaps I will be able to set right my errors of old. May the Valar smile upon your endeavors and mine, Kippen. Let us go. When I give the word, one of you must seize the Palantir and bring it out of Baratiron. But not before I give the word. Wow, it is certainly very yellow in here. There's a Marthiel. A Marthiel, I have come to you at last. I see trees, trees of the wilderness. The troll shawls, Narquil is. Morjambor did his work well. I did not think he would come. Did you not? So Angmar's new regent is not all-knowing. Your days are too long already, and they end here. Narquil awaits me within the wilderness. You have come too late. Late, perhaps, but not too late for this. One of you, grab the Palantir and bring it to Kalinglad, quickly. Alright. I'm out of here. Peace. Got a nice little Palantir in a sack here. You cannot harm me, Lairdan. Your weapon of is as water to this form. Take the Palantir and go. I'm running as fast as I can. So it looks like Narkwil is in the Trollshaws. So that may be where Marthiel is headed next. And now you can see why I cleared out the entire place before running out. Although I did miss a couple along the way it looks like or maybe these are just respawns yeah those those look like respawns surely i wouldn't have missed them so obvious i'm gonna try to avoid them by staying as close to the periphery as possible well, it looks like i have made it you have delivered the Palantir to Kalinglad. We have no time to waste skipping. I'll weep for Lairdon, but we must retrieve the Palantir and remove it from Anuminus. Are you ready? Long have the rangers of the north guarded the ruins of Anuminus. When Amarthiel came, they struggled to repel her, and after a bitter battle, managed to recover the Palantir. 
But victory came with a terrible price. And Amarthil saw something in the Palantir which might lead her to Narquil. Very interesting. So poor Laredin suffered a horrible fate. But the mission is complete. Your news is dire, but at least we can prepare the defense against Amarthil. What do you need? The victory is bittersweet, my friend, for Laredin. Has been taken by the enemy, and we do not have the numbers to stage another assault upon Baratiron. I fear that he is lost to us, and although the Palantir now, is now free from Marthiel's clutches, it seems she has learned at least some of the information she sought. Only time now keeps her from reclaiming Narquil, the ring she lost so long ago. I will bring the Palantir to one that will keep it safe. We have done what we could, Kippen, but it was not enough. A hundred curses upon the Iron Crown. It has taken so much from us, and for every victory it deals us a dozen hurts. And yet we fight on. It has always been the way of the Dunedain, and I know it is your way as well, Kippen. What else is there to do? We will fight on in Laredin's name, and in the names of all those who have fallen, and one day Amarthia will pay for each and every one. I swear it on the bones of my father's and my father's father. We will see it done, Kippen. Let me see what sort of things we have here. Maybe these rewards will be a little bit better than what I have. Doesn't really look like it. The earring's not terrible. And this bracelet is not bad either with the block rating. But... I don't know, that's actually not bad. Huh. I might take it instead of Bollock's Doom on the right there. Nah, I don't want it. I don't want it. What can I do for you? So, book 11, chapter 1. We are ready to start that, but I think we will do that in the next episode. I don't want to start something and not really get too far into it. So that concludes book 10, and we're almost done here in Even Dim. In fact, there's only a few quests I have to recreate and then um, some of the instances in Anuminous. And then after that, there's the book 11, it takes place somewhat here in Even Dim, but it also sends you all over Middle Earth. So we'll see what I'm going to do about that. But for now, I want to thank you for watching. Be sure to join the fellowship by hitting the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.